Welcome to Algebra 1 SOL Prep. This is packet B, and in this packet we're going to focus on multiple representations of functions. Okay, so a lot of times on the SOL you will be given phrases written out in English that you have to translate into the algebra. So we're going to give you some examples here. This is not all of them, but this is some of the ones you might see. So if you see here, the first one says seven more than H. You might also see seven added to H. So what that means is I'm taking whatever H is and I'm adding seven. The next one says seven less than G. So I'm gonna start with G, just like here I started with H, it says seven less than that. So I'm gonna do G minus seven. These can get a little bit confusing because we have the seven first. Sometimes we're tempted to do seven minus G. But if you see less than subtracted from, those two mean the same thing, okay? But here it says G subtracted by seven. That time we can keep it in order, okay? So all of these three things mean the same thing. But notice how these two, the, um, the 7 and the G are in opposite spots. So with subtraction, you do have to be careful. Look at what it says. The next one says the square of a number. So when we see number, we like to usually use N. And square means we're going to square it. So we're going to put a little exponent of 2. The next one says the sum of, if we have the sum of X and 5, we are adding together X plus 5. The product of 3 and x, we can just write 3x, okay? The quotient of 6 and x, quotient, remember, means division. Quotient, this is division, okay? When I see one-third of x, okay, I'm going to do one-third x. This is the same as x over 3. One-fourth of x, remember that of is multiplication. I'm going to do the same thing, one-fourth times x, which is the same as x over 4. Lastly, we have twice x. Twice means we're going to multiply 2 times whatever it is, twice x, twice y. We're looking at that 2 times. If you are given a verbal representation of a function, write it in algebra, just like we did here, and then we can enter it into Desmos. Okay? We're going to press this gear function followed by the table to see a table of values. So let's take a look at some examples. So number one says one-third the square of x is equal to 10. So it's always good to read it all first and then let's break it down. So one-third the square of x. So I'm going to do the square of x first and then take one-third of it. So one-third the square of x is equal to 10. We translated that one. Number two, it says y is equal to eight less than the square of the sum of x and two. So we have a lot in that one, okay? So I'm gonna write y is equal to, okay? It says eight less than, okay? So I'm gonna hang on to that eight for a second and then the square of. So again, with the square of something, I'm going to put the sum of x and 2, and I'm going to put it in parentheses since I'm not sure what that's going to look like just yet. I have the sum of x and 2, and then I'm going to work backwards this way. So I have the square of that, and then 8 less than it. Okay, so this is y is equal to 8 less than the square of the sum of x and 2. So that one can be kind of tricky. Number three, which table represents the function five more than one half the square of x is equal to y, okay? 
So again, when I have five more than, kind of like my eight less, and I'm going to wait a second, one half of, what am I one half of yet? The square of, again, at a square of x, I mean one half the square of x is equal to y. So the square of x I'm going to write first, then I'm going to take one half of it, and it's five more than that, okay, is equal to y. Sometimes we don't like to have y on this side, so you can write that to say y equals 1 half x squared plus 5, okay? And now we want to know which one of these tables matches that. So you can go ahead and pull up Desmos, and we're going to type in, pull up, our keyboard here, y equals, we have one half, okay, arrow out of the bottom, x squared plus five, okay? So we've got our picture here, this is our graph. Sometimes I'll ask for the graph, this one wants the table. So I'm gonna click the gear, it says edit list. Look at my list here, and I wanna see which one of these tables matches this one. So let's pick out some specific values. So this one has 0, 5, okay, what this one has. This one has, let's see, 2, 7, that works. What about 4, 13? We can just type in here a 4, and we get 4, 13. So letter A looks good. What I do like to do is just double check the other ones in case I made a mistake. So this one has 0, 5, 1, 6. So let's take a look at my Desmos here. This says 1 and 5.5. So there's no way B can work. Letter C says negative 2, 4. Let's see what Desmos says for negative 2. Up, oh, negative 2, 7. So once it doesn't work for one thing, like this one doesn't work, and this one, 1, 6 didn't work, the whole thing doesn't work. And lastly, I have 0, 5, which worked, 2, 7. But notice here it has 4, 11. And for ours, we already found out 4 would go with 13, okay? So yes, our answer is A. Sometimes you just want to check your others on the SOL. Number four says select the two representations that represent the same function. So we're trying to figure out which two are the same, okay? So let's see if we can match anything. Let's translate our words into algebra. Y is twice X minus two. So Y is, is means equals. So Y is twice X minus two. So now we have an equation, a graph, a table and an equation. Well, we know these two can't match because they're two different equations. So let's type in this one first. We can come back to our Desmos. Let's X out and type in the one that we got. So Y equals 2X minus 2. Okay. And let's go ahead and look at our table because we have a table there. So the ones in the table say 0, negative 2. So that matches 1, 0. So that matches. And then it also wants 3, 4. So let's see if I type in 3. Up, oh, I get 3, 4. So it looks like this one matches with this one. Let's just double check to make sure we didn't make an error. So if we look at this graph here and we look at my graph, okay, I see I have a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. So this one, up, oh, I have a y-intercept down here at negative 3. So that one's not going to match. And this one here, if I look at my, if I look here with this graph, y equals 3x minus 1, if I just type it in to see, y equals 3x minus 1, okay? Again, looking at that graph, it does not match that graph. I've got a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of about a third there, okay? Up 1. We have a slope of 3 for this one. 
So that one's not going to match anything either. Okay, so these two are my ones that match. So for these, there's a little bit of guess and check there. Um, the main thing you want to do is translate into an equation so that way it can help you match two things together. Okay. We've reached the end of our video here. Now it's your turn. Work on the practice problems on the next page.